Oh man, nothing like a good old meal at Applebee's. Well, I suppose it's uh, getting a little late out tonight. We better get back on down to the farm. What do y'all say? Oh, y'all say you don't know what I'm talking about. Well, welcome to the 2000 series. For those of you who do not know, this is a series where we farm with the squad, Buck, and uh, anyone else who joins in on the series, such as Clutch Simulations, King May, Austin Farmer, and hey, maybe even uh, a few surprise guests along the way. That's right, we're here on the 2000 series. If you guys have been watching Grant's channel, then you know that they have been getting harvest done. And uh, well, we just moved into the area, so unfortunately we don't have anything to harvest ourselves, but we do have a beautiful farm for you to check out down here. So we're gonna go run down to the farm and uh, give you a quick tour and we'll wake up in the morning and get right on to work today. Well, I, I guess tomorrow more accurately, you get the idea. All right, everybody, I'd like to welcome you to our lovely little farm. This is our little horse ranch here. So starting out right up here to the left, we've got our big beautiful house and our little carport for our truck to park in. We're gonna go ahead and park up and we'll run around the rest of the property on foot. We've got the little office shed here. It's got a nice kind of porch sat right here it's a nice little area of course these doors do open up we've only got one piece of equipment in this particular shed at the time then moving back this direction we've got a fuel barrel we got another shed and uh, we have another shed right here this shed it probably has the most equipment and if we look inside we will see we've got a good assortment of equipment in here we've got a k7150 we've got a john deere 4040 and we've got a john deere 8110 parked in here Moving over this direction, we have a John Deere 9560 STS as well. And our planter that we're going to be running is a John Deere 7000 series right here. Moving over to the shed by the house, if we open her up here, we will see that we've got our horse trailer parked inside. We've got a grain uh, auger cart right here. We've got a rake, a mower, and a couple headers parked over here in the barn. That's pretty much all of our equipment. I do know that I want to get like a like a little UTV, but I don't have one yet. So we'll have to look around on the market and see what we can find. Back in the truck now, if we run to the right here, you will see we've got our grain bins in our semi truck and trailer. And this little road wraps right on around this building. So you have easy access to and from the, uh, the grain area there, the silos. Got a lovely backyard there with some nice trees and if we move this way we've got a fence that goes along this whole area where we got to open up the gate here and pulling inside you'll see that inside of our pasture we've still got some gravel roads here so the road split off and kind of a fork you can either go to the left which will take you over towards this barn where we've got this will hold all of our hay and uh, we've also got a little tractor for water parked here as well as our pj trailer there's another entrance to this area right over there back behind me and if we head back down the road and but we go this direction instead we come to the little alleyway between two more pastures that is once again gated off so you get a pasture there to the right a pasture there to the left and straight ahead is our lovely little horse track now you now you're probably looking at this thing and you're like boy jake i think your horse track needs a little work eh and you're not wrong but uh that'll be a project for a later date we uh we'll deal with that sometime but that's it guys that is the tour of the farm so we're gonna go inside we're gonna hit the hay and wake up early in in the morning and get right to work <sighs> good morning everybody beautiful day for getting out and turning up some soil i think we're just gonna get right on into work today all right so open up that shed there we've got our little disc just sitting inside there and what tractor do we use today you know what i think i'm gonna run the old 4040 here today i don't know if it's gonna have enough power but we're gonna try it and i need you guys' help you need to let me know what we're gonna be planting on these fields come uh, the springtime they're an additional cash crop which means we can plant anything we can plant some corn some soybeans some sorghum whatever it may be uh so yeah just let me know what we should plant in these fields i sure wish i had a little driveway to this field right outside of my original driveway but unfortunately the county keeps denying my request to make one actually it looks like right here the ditch is gone so we'll be able to pull in and we're gonna go ahead and unfold our little disc and we'll get started with our work here today if my tractor will go go there we go finally i could not get this thing to go into gear man you ever have that trouble that trouble with your old tractor sometimes you just 
He gets a little stuck. He can't get her in gear. I mean, hey, man, it happens to the best of us, right? Now, I do see something rather unfortunate, and that is that there are rocks here. Um, so apparently we're going to have to deal with that this series. I'm going to be completely honest, guys. Usually I turn off the rocks because I hate them so much. So, uh, yeah, full disclosure, we're going to have rocks in our fields because I will not buy a rock picker to take them out. Not doing it. If there's rocks in the fields, there's rocks in the fields. We're just going to have to deal with it. So we're almost done with our first full headland here. And it has taken over 10 minutes to do this. Uh, it's a big field and a small little disc, okay? I don't know how long this is going to take, but it's going to be so painful. Okay, so the wife decided to come out and take over the tractor for us. I gave her a, uh, a call and she said she, she could do that. We have got to run up to the livestock place. They open up here in about 20, 30 minutes or so. So we got to get our trailer hooked up to our truck and ready to go. We got to also make sure that uh, the pins are ready to go with water. We don't have any hay either, so we're going to have to pick up some hay. All right, so what we're going to do... Actually, do I want to get the hay first? Yeah, mm, yes, yes, I do. Okay, so we are going to pull back here, hook up to our PJ trailer. That way we can go get some hay. Of course, that's assuming I can find any for sale around, but I'm sure I'll be able to find something. All right, beautiful. So we've got the PJ trailer hooked up, ready to go. We're going to fold up that tailgate, and we're just going to let this truck sit here for a moment. Because first, I want to make sure that everybody's got water. So far up the old farm all tractor, and we've got a full trailer of water here already. Let's just pull out and uh make sure that water is Woo! this is a heavy trailer of water dang we'll go ahead and jump some water on in here let's just run back here make sure yep it's filling up just fine it's about full right and there okay let's see how much do we got left we've not none none it took the full tank all right by the way guys i haven't uh, told you about this trailer but i really like this trailer so if we look right over here we see we've got our hose this hose has a filter on the end so you can throw this out into a river or a lake or a pond whatever it may be and you can connect your hose up to the pump and you can actually fill from a pond and this will filter out the water so it's a really really cool hose all right two down two more to go let's go fill up another deal of water here all right there we go watering is done for the morning here we're gonna go ahead and put the tractor away and we will move on to getting the hay all right just gonna pull the old skid steer right on up onto the old pj trailer right there we go boys and girls <laughs> okay that's enough of that we're gonna go ahead and strap you down one strap will do that's all that we ever need one strap we were able to find some bales for sale by the way so we're just gonna run on up into town they're right up here in more and we're gonna just pick them up they said that they're right there at the store i don't know what they're doing at the uh the equipment dealer but they're there so we're gonna we're we're gonna take advantage of the situation and take them bales off their hands all right pulled on into the farm supply here don't know what the, there's a truck doing on the roof but you know i ain't gonna ask no questions so we're just gonna lift you right on up to that second stack there ought to do and let's see can we get the two at a time here trying to pick it up without knocking over that next stack of bales good lord jandis Woo! she a little tippy boys all right bring her down bring her down bring her down so you don't tip yourself over jake these are some big old square bales boys gosh dang i was not expecting them to be this big we're gonna go ahead and put a couple straps down on those four and we'll get the next four loaded up if we can i don't know if we can do it and also get our fork or uh our, our skid steer on there i think we might be able to get two of them in the skid steer but i don't think we're gonna get four of them in the skid steer oh we just might be it oh it's gonna be so close let me see if i can get these no get off my forks go forward go forward go forward go forward and stay off of my forks there we go finally now we'll do that god i think we can just barely do it and we'll i'm, I'm pretty skinny i can squeeze through there all right there we go we got everything strapped down we're gonna go ahead and strap you down there as well uh we might i think oh, come on that's gonna work right let's find out Ooh, it may have scraped it a wee bit, but it did work. Nice. So we've got a full load, eight bales, and we've got our skid steer on there. We're good to go. Oh my lord, that's heavy. Wow. Okay. 
we're gonna have to take it easy getting home but now we're good to go we've got hay acquired we have provided water we can get our horses now but we gotta decide how many horses we're gonna get i think to start we are going to get 10 horses how's that sound all right pull right on into the driveway we're gonna pull these back to the hay barn gonna go ahead and put them in the hay barn and uh then we gotta hook our truck up to the horse trailer run up and buy some horses if only taking down the straps was that easy in real life dude hey, you got lights in here I, I don't know do you can i turn you on or not nah? there might be a light switch over here hold on yeah there is heck yeah all right little skid stare time for you to shine buddy oh gosh dang it jake i had too much weight on the front end ended up it ended up just sliding to the left and i hit my truck we're gonna have to go look see if i damaged the uh the bumper there now we have to take it to a body shop now of course and then set them down get the weight off the forks don't tip now beautiful beautiful he said all right you can stay right there we're just gonna go ahead and ooh, you know what i guess i should give them a bit of that hey uh and we'll do it when we get the horses i guess all right we got the trailer all loaded up or we got the trailer hooked up i should say we're gonna run just north of Burksville, and there's a uh, there's a place up there where they got some uh, some horses for sale. So we're gonna run up there, pick them up, and bring them on down to the farm. We're just gonna take a few loads though, because uh, like I said, we're gonna be buying ten horses today, and I think we can hold two at a time in this trailer. Oh, I should have checked on the honey dearest. Uh, hope she's all right out there. We'll stop by when we get the horses, and uh, we'll make sure she's doing all right. All right, y'all, we made it here. We just gotta pull in, find out where we uh, we gotta pull our trailer to, and we'll get our horses loaded up. All right there we go got the last bar locked in there horses are in the trailer we're gonna go and lift up the ramp close the doors there we go close that up and we are good to roll got a couple horses loaded up let's get on down the road shall we all right we are back with the horses and i don't see any old wife out in the field so we might have to run out there and make sure she's all right but we're going to get these horses out of that trailer first. And you know what? The first place we're going to put the horses is in the one of the other enclosed pastures over here. All right, there we go. We got to make sure that they get some hay, though, because they ain't got any yet. But they got plenty of grass out there to graze on. So it'll be fine for a minute or two here. But now all we got to do is repeat the cycle for a little while until we get all of our horses. All right, as you guys can see, we got some horses out here on the top of the fence. Hey, how's it going, honey? But we got to go through make sure that they all got their hay but uh, i'm not gonna make you guys sit through that that is gonna be it for this video if you did enjoy make sure you like and subscribe let me know what you want to see us do here on the 2000 series and until next time i'll see y'all later peace